Peter has found a visitor from the Northern Territory, a giant water buffalo. Meanwhile, Sean has got himself into a bullfight with an angry young scrub bull who bravely charges the helicopter.
I've dusted this dresser with pledge every week for 16 years, and it's still beautiful. Look, end dust just evaporates, leaving wood as dry and unprotected as before. But a pledge shine protects beautifully. With pledge, dusting can be beautiful. There's 2.3 pounds of water in here. That's what's trapped in our body tissue every month. It made me bloated, irritable, and my clothes felt tight. Until I discovered Aquaban. It helps reduce bloating and puffiness. Safe and effective Aquaban helps you get rid of the bloat every month. In one week, I lost seven pounds. Seven pounds. The Slim Fast Pledge. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. Each Slim Fast Shake is a delicious, nutritious, low-calorie meal. One week and the weight was gone. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. Maybe you can change the way of the world. But you can take an alternate route in the Audi 90 Quattro. A car that sticks to the road, not to the rules. Because it assigns power to whatever wheels need it, when they need it. Ample reward for resisting the commonplace and taking the alternate route. The last time you subscribed to a news magazine, what did you get? A free phone that you've never used? Or a calculator that conked out on you? Insight is a different kind of news magazine. Instead of insulting your intelligence by offering you some free plastic gadget, they'd rather give you three free issues. That makes sense because only by reading Insight can you discover how different and really valuable this magazine is. Instead of just rehashing the week's happenings like others do, Insight anticipates and stays ahead of the news, searches out vital stories that need to be told, and tells them long before they're covered by other media. Call now to receive the next three issues free. Subscribe if you wish at the money-saving rate of just $15 for 30 issues. Or return your invoice marked cancel and pay nothing. Call 1-800-522-9600 to get the next three issues of Insight Magazine without obligation. Yours to keep whether or not you subscribe. Call now, 1-800-522-9600. And even, even if there were only one communist in the State Department, even if there were only one communist in the State Department, that would still be one communist too many. Follow one man's crusade against communism with an American Islam. Tonight at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, only on the Discovery Channel. It is not until we film our helicopter flying along the rim that we realize how big the Wolf Creek crater really is. Many of the craters on the moon were formed in a similar way. Although visited by a few tourists every year, this, the second largest meteorite crater on Earth, spends most of its time remote and deserted. Western Australia's loneliest landmark. like a river, Lake Kananara is part of the Ord River Irrigation Project. It can store 100,000 cubic meters of water in a length of 40 kilometers and lies 50 kilometers downstream from Lake Argyle. Among the Melaleuca trees at the water's edge, a large colony of over one million fruit bats live. The noise and smell is incredible. Interestingly, the wings of the bats are formed on an identical bone structure to that of the human hand. Skillful flyers in the air, they can only crash land in the treetops, where they hang fanning themselves to keep cool in the subtropical heat of the day. To take off again, they gain airspeed by flapping until the hooks on their feet disengage. Many early settlers thought the fruit bats very good eating. The black-winged stilt 
feeds on tiny mollusks in the mud. While the crocodiles think about feeding on the black-winged stilt. A little egret checks out its territorial boundaries before returning to feed. Most spectacular of the Norwest birds, the huge Jabiru stork stands over a meter and a half in height. Flights of whistling ducks make shifting patterns in the sky. And the black and white crane soars in the thermals. Towards evening, the night heron sits quietly on the lookout for small frogs, while all around him they start their chorus. A data, or snake bird, is one of the most unusual on the lagoons. Unlike other birds, it lacks the preen glands that supply oil to the feathers. The feathers become quickly saturated underwater, and the snake bird can swim much faster. Its unique neck can twist and turn to follow every move of the darting fish. Unable to fly when wet, it does spend a lot of time drying its feathers, and if disturbed, has to jump back into the water quickly. As night falls, the first patrols from the fruit bat colony take to the air. Three thousand five hundred kilometers to the south, the next morning, in the moments before sunrise, other frogs call in the wooded valleys of the southwest. Great forests of jarra, carry, tuit, and timblewood stand wrapped in early morning mist. Gradually, as the first rays of the sun enter the valleys, the mist begins to evaporate, the chorus of the frogs dies away, and the birds start to call as the forest wakes up to another day. As the breeze stirs the millions of leaves, they make a sound like the murmuring of a great ocean. Once or twice a year, there comes a moment when the trees are illuminated by the first rays of the sun and a full moon hangs above them. In the undergrowth, the light of the forest continues. A carpet python, intent on climbing towards a bird's nest, raises itself vertically one and a half meters into the air to climb to the next branch. Skillfully using twigs to balance, it strains every muscle and finally succeeds. If he's lucky, he'll be rewarded with a feed of eggs or even young chicks. A slow and infrequent eater, he will gorge himself and then sleep for days until his appetite returns. <laughs> 